Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. We had 20 millimeters, four fifths of an inch of rain last night in quite a short time. So a lot of water came rushing down here during the night. It was quite spectacular to see it. And uh, this is now almost 12 hours later, almost 24 hours later. And uh, let's look what happened. This bottom pond is uh, full again. This pond came about because I needed a, an area to cross with my excavator and I stacked some dirt there and it's still there. That's why we have a pond. Here we have some obstructions to collect all organic material that comes down this creek and uh, the water is still flowing. These uh, leaky weirs, they are all still in place, that is a good sign. Uh, one or two stones, rocks moved. A bigger one came from higher up. This is all intact. Fast flowing. It's not just a trickle. So above the fountain, it appears we still have some water. This leaky weir needs some attention. Uh, puddles of water in the sand oh, this one leaky weir did a great job A lot of sandbags I have removed and the last ones I arranged in a specific way to read what is really happening. Last night in the rain I could see, I mean the water level was quite high, almost to the tree trunk. What uh, makes me happy is that this water is really snaking its way. There's no more straight flow running on bedrock. And that's great. Still some water here. I had to adjust the inlet of the canal towards the west several times because uh, when I think it's a little rain I open it up and as soon as it appears to be a lot of rain I have to close. The same here with the plank.
It hasn't been cold this winter yet. The jacaranda still sporting their leaves. Quite a lot of water came down this canal. Oh, I must get this guy to stand upright. The uh, distribution pond worked well once again. Um, to work very efficient, I have to be on standby all the time. And I was surprised how much sediment got washed here, just in this area. And it actually came through here. So a new development that I can fix. The same here when I think there's not much water, I remove not much, much rain. I remove this uh, obstacle for the canal and when there's a lot of water I put it back and then more comes through here or through the spillway. The spillway only functioned once this rainy season and uh, that's good. At the time the water went through the three openings. I mean, it's almost no opening, but it's amazing amount of water that does come through. This is where the water comes from, the culvert. It's always colored um, because of the, it collects the dirt the mud from the street and it's always leaking that's what we wanted I didn't want water to keep water here I wanted to flow seep continuously over a week or more down this area which it does very well and it is still overflowing and here it then goes underground I mean this is a lot of dirt but it filters through or seeps through and we have lots of trunks and um, hara brush sister's brush and covered it with dirt that came from this area so we filled in this erosion gully and then the water shows up here again and then it flows here into seven swells it used to leave through here but that has doesn't didn't happen for almost a year this is the middle swell system where we transplanted all the berries because they were not doing well in the clay so we tried the berms this is the youngest swale, also the deepest, biggest, as an experiment. We planted lots of trees. This is the uh, Vachalia Karu, and uh, lots of onions and garlic, and then artichoke, and several. Uh, citrus trees
Right now the the swale holds a lot of water. That is good. So once again this eastern part uh, we are happy to say everything worked well on the creek everything worked well Fus come here this guy was kicked here in the face by an animal maybe a horse he got drunk on Christmas Day and escaped the next day he came back with a face double its size I have massaged his face and glands for almost a month now to get the swelling down two series of antibiotics hopefully you will get better this is our Vachalia Kuru main canal that comes from the creek here will be some earthworks in later now that we know how the flow takes place what really happens we are only halfway about yes uh, of the rain the liters of rain we should receive to maintain this desa this uh, home oak cork uh, landscape it appears that four civilizations worked on creating this area the way it is but it's declining because mainly water lack of water it's also interesting for me that um, towards the east the next village Cortegana they already have had their quota of rain they are higher up so uh, it varies quite a lot okay the, this pond is full again happy with that the carob is smiling shining after the last rain a lot of water went through down here again some ladies of the village cleaned this area from sister's brush and um, we started stacking the sisters everywhere it feels quite strange to be able to walk through here all this reclaimed what now that is a good question we have in storage about 50 kilos of various seeds and uh, two to mention that excites me is um, sorghum sudan grass and then also uh, native flowers so uh, maybe we can take the excavator the tooth and rip some key lines and put that in there the sister's brush was taken from that hillside over there and we were toying what to do with it we can chip it which is a laborious activity because the chipper is small 
we have stacked most of the swales and then we got the idea of bringing them here to the fence line this is our garden because this is where the from where I am in the west this is where the cold and hot winds go through so why not stack them here and uh, see what it does maybe we can tie them to the fence and uh, yeah an experiment here at the highest point on the land the, the work has been paused once again because it's too wet we cannot work there um, we smoothened the edges and then had some plastic put down there to prevent the growth of tall grasses maybe we can finish that soon it's already six weeks late and that will be so great we are thankful for the rain beautiful days till next time goodbye